Hey there YouTube friends, I needed a cordless drill so I just picked up this Warrior 18 volt lithium cordless drill from Harbor Freight and I'm going to let it charge up and I'm going to take it for a test run and uh, see how it works out. Alright, I'm just going to unbox it. The instruction manual. Get the drill. Get the battery and the adapter. Take the drill out of the bag. Now this is plastic, it has no rubber coating on it, so right off the bat I'd say you'd have to be careful with it and make sure you don't drop it. And here's the battery. And I think it's a pretty good buy for less than 30 bucks to get the battery, the charger, and the drill. And we'll just plug it in, let it charge for a bit. lit up so I'll just let it charge and uh, we'll come back in a little bit all right now according to the instruction manual the battery is fully charged when the red light is out so the red light is out and I'm just going to unplug it and we'll take it for a test spin all right so this is the direction switch right here this uh, orange button and you can see it comes out on both sides and when it's centered you can't squeeze the trigger but when you push it out to the left, that's going to be forward. And when you push it out to the right, that's going to be reverse. Now what's neat is we have a little LED light right here. So it lights up your work. And we have a keyless chuck. And we also have um, different torque settings. So we'll see how that works out. So i um, just going to put a bit in it right now and we'll give it a bench test. Okay, now I'm going to bench test the drill, and what I did is I clamped down a couple of 2x4s and a 1x um, to my workbench, and I'm going to drive these 3.5 inch deck screws, and we'll see how it does. Now the torque setting I have right now is set at 1, so let's see where we get with it. Alright, so at the one setting, that's as far as it's going to go. Now I'll get another screw and I'll bump it up to five. So, now this is at the five setting. And again, not too far, about the same. Yeah. Now let's bump it up to 10. See how that does. Alright, so we got a little further. Okay, now I have it set at 15. Let's see how this works out. Put it up all the way. Okay, so when you have it all the way up, we could get it in. All right, now we're going to stay at the highest torque setting and we're going to see if we can get the rest of these screws in. So at the uh, highest torque setting, we could get all these three and a half inch screws all the way through 
few two by fours and a one by. Now let's see if uh, we can get the screws out, no problem. So I just drove those five deck screws and it has a little bit of a labored smell to it like the, the motor was working but I'm gonna go take it inside and we're gonna use it a little bit more all right now I'm gonna use that drill to take down some shelves I'm gonna be doing a little painting and that's the main reason I got it you know it's cordless and it helps the job go a little quicker so I believe these uh, shelves are in studs when I put them in and so this one right here is in a stud That one's also in a stud, so I got six screws and studs on uh, each shelf, so we'll see how it, what kind of job it does pulling these screws out. All right, now I have the torque setting set at 15, and let's just see how it does it taking these screws out. All right, that was no problem. These two up here. problem there. Okay. And now let's just get these three over here. Now I'm not squeezing the trigger down hard. If you see it going slow, that's just because I'm putting a tiny bit of pressure on the trigger. Okay, so that's my demo of the Warrior 18 volt drill that I got at Harbor Freight for about 30 bucks. Um, now you could get a similar drill at Lowe's, you could probably get a Black & Deco which would probably be on par for this but it's going to be double the price, it's going to be about 60 bucks. Now this isn't a drill that you're going to take to the work site and use all day. This is just a drill to have around the house for when you need to pick, put a picture up or take it down, you need to screw some screws in the wall. and. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it performed. You know, I took some things down in the house and uh, I'll periodically give uh, an update of how the uh, drill is holding up in the description box below. As always, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.